before we we were doing mains and beans. Yeah? You know, mains and beans are they are our uh, stable food, but then they were unable to actually resist drought as the drought was uh, rampaging from time to time. We started experiencing a lot of a lot of drought since 2006. It was drought, drought, drought. So as time went on, we came across a Grisat who introduced us to good farming technology, modern farming technology. The use of fertilizer, the use of certified seeds, and also told us to plant things which have market. We were actually introduced in the village to Ikrisad by some of the field officers of Ikrisad. And when they actually introduced us, they, they took us for a training. And then when they, they took us for a training, we saw a need to form a group so as to, to pull our resources together. And then we were introduced to, to certain varieties of green grams, sorghum and so on and so forth. These drought uh, resistant crops. After we formed that group, we we are now we were able to to pull our uh, resources together and uh, now we are able to to farm over 60 acres. Come the rain season, actually before the rains, all the farmers are able to access quality seed true to type within reach and most likely affordable prices. Before we attend that training, we were unable, for, first of all, to know how to sort out these seeds and also to about pesticides and uh, the proper timing to plant. We have found Icris a, a bit different uh, because one thing they have, they have made us their partners and they have taught us, they have trained us to be self-reliant and they have shown us how to manage our farms. We have some youth groups who have been given some motivation by the county government to take up uh, farming as a business. And most of the, the youth are in, uh, <coughs> their main interest in, is in crops which are taking not more than three months like the green grams and the cowpeas. And most now the youth are so much interested in, in, uh, in doing um, the vegetables like the kales and the rest. One thing I learned these, these seeds, this type of varieties have a lot of advantage. You are, you are not afraid of failing if you do the right, the right thing. Uh, apart from good ag ag agronomical practices, it's also taught the economics of agriculture. During the first training before we even formed the group, we were informed that it result as uh, partnered with USAID to sponsor the project and the training. We are very happy with the American people for coming all the way to the small village like this one and found that we need assistance. And believe me, I can see the assistance. And since this is the second season, we are planning with them. We, we want to aim very far. We shall do exactly all is required to make sure this, this exercise succeeds. We don't let down our donors.